Okay, my camera's cockeyed. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, here I am with my uh, Victorian Civil War slash Civil War uh, Christmas caroling ensemble. Um, I really, really struggled with this dress and um, I told you I was gonna talk about it quite a bit tonight. So this is a dress in uh, a number of parts. This is an era I really haven't done before. Not, uh, I've done uh, Victorian dresses, but nothing specifically Civil War era and uh, certainly no day gowns in the era. So um, I'll show you the dress and then we'll do a little chat about it. This is the whole thing, bonnet, cape, you know, dress and everything. So I'll do the little turnaround. Um, this dress is a beautiful plaid or tartan wool. Um, I'm not sure if this is the black watch or not. It's a, uh, it's kind of a teal green and kind of a violet blue with black. So my bonnet feels a little bit too big for my head. Of course, I'm not used to this kind. Um, I made the bonnet from scratch. Uh, the bonnet's made out of buckram and wire and all kinds of fun stuff and velvet. Um, so. Anyway, here we go again, and I'll take off the, the cape and the bonnet in just a moment because it'll be a little bit warm. I would be plenty warm outside tonight, even though it's in the 30s here in South Carolina. So, giving everybody a good look. Ta-da! So, um, this is uh, an early uh, 1860s dress. And I made it as historically accurate as I could without hand sewing everything. You all know I don't, I finish a lot of things by hand, but I do not sew entire dresses by hand. Now, I guess I'll do another 360 since I took the cape off so you can see more details of the dress. So I'll do another little um, turnaround now. So. Ta-da! So this dress is made in several parts. It is um, the, the bodice and petticoat, bodice here, sorry, <laughs> petticoat here. Petticoat is another name for a skirt. Uh, bodice and petticoat are separate. They are not attached. Um, the undersleeves are separate. These are not attached. The collar is not attached. So, and the belt. So these are all things that can be changed on the dress and, and mixed up. And then, um, of course, Here's the bonnet. So I made a bodice, a petticoat, a bonnet, a cape, a belt, undersleeves, and I actually made two collars. So that's eight individual items plus I trimmed this dress at least four times. So trim on took it off, so trim on, took it off. I did not like the dress at all. In fact, uh, to be honest, I, I loved the shape of the dress and the fit of the dress. I think it's just about perfect, but the color I thought was absolutely hideous on me. Uh, and I did everything I could think of to try to brighten it up. I had added white to it and I tried different colors. Originally, I was gonna put teal with it I didn't like the teal. I did line the cape in the teal, and I had teal trim that I put on the dress at one point, but I didn't like it on the dress. I think it works for the inside of the cape um, if I had had this matching purple. I don't think I would do the purple on the cape, though. I like the teal on the cape. I think that works nicely, but I didn't like the teal on the dress. I started to put it on and took it off and put it on and took it off. So I spent, and all of that was hand sewing. So I spent more time on this dress than I've ever spent on anything, which, you know, I normally can do a dress in two to three days. This took me the better part of a week. And I was so frustrated because I just wasn't happy with it. And then um, I have a number of friends who made some suggestions. And um, I think it was Heather who suggested putting a, a bright colored ribbon on it and you know, mixing it up that way. So I, I did buy some purple velvet that I was gonna use for the bonnet. This, this velvet here, this is not what I bought last week. 
Um, the velvet that I bought, it was much darker. It was more of a violet blue. It was closer to blue than purple. It was really dark. It matched the color inside the dress really, really well. But again, it was so darn dark. It just looked terrible on me. So I didn't use it. And then I found um, about a yard and a half of this leftover. This is more of a plum. I had a yard and a half, a yard and a half of this in my stash. And I thought, gosh, that's enough to do the bonnet. So I started playing around with that and I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought, I found some ribbon that matched it really nicely. They have very nice quality ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I really like their ribbon. This is particularly nice ribbon. So I made all the trims um, and all of this trim, I'll show you up close. All of this I made by hand. All of the ribbon trim on the bonnet, I made all this and on the crown and all the trim on the dress. I, I made the pleats as I sewed it on made the rosette. Um, so I, I did all this by hand. And in the end, I have to look in the mirror again. In the end, I'm still not in love with this. Uh, it's, it's still, as far as flattering colors on me, um, interestingly, the, the, the plum and the purple, it brought the green out of the dress. It's amazing. Look how green this dress looked. If I take this off, the, the dress looks almost black. Uh, it, it, or navy. It, 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 it doesn't show up green at all when you don't put the purple with it. So that was really, really interesting. I thought the purple would bring out the purple, but it didn't. It brought out the green, which was interesting. And green is one of my better colors, but the whole thing is just pretty dark for me. So um, I still I love the cut of the dress and the shape of the dress, but I don't believe I'm going to keep this. Uh, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's very flattering on me because of the, the dark color. But I'm as happy with it as I could be. Uh, I'm happy enough that I will wear it Christmas caroling. I will wear it at, at least one time. But um, if I'm going to keep things in my closet, it's got to be stuff I really, really love. Otherwise, I'm just going to get rid of it because I make so much stuff. You know, why should I keep something that I'm not madly in love with if I can make something that I am madly in love with? So that's my philosophy. Because uh, remember, I can I can whip up something like this in you know less than a week, so <laughs> I I can make another one that I like better. So I haven't decided yet. See, I'm I'm looking in the I'm gonna come up closer in the camera. It's not it's 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 better. It's a lot better, but I think um, I'll have to make a lighter colored one and compare, and you guys can tell me what you think. So one more time, I'll do my. Now without the bonnet on, I'll do my little turnaround. I do like the purple with it though. I think the purple was the perfect choice as far as brightening up the dress. So, but it's still not bright enough for me. <laughs> so, um, all right, I guess I'll have a seat now and, and chat with you. I can't see any comments from where I stand. So I'm gonna um, pull up my chair and uh, we can talk about the dress, or we can talk about whatever else y'all would like to talk about. Is everybody keeping warm? It's cold everywhere today, I think. Um, we dipped down. I went out yesterday and um, put the blanket on my horse. I don't usually um, blanket him unless it's raining or really cold, because he has a nice thick winter coat. So, uh, But it was raining yesterday, and it was getting really cold, so he's... He's nice and cozy, and he, he doesn't live in a barn, but he has a shelter that he can go into in bad weather. So, anyway. Um, so, what, let's see what you all think here. Um, oh, one little comment. <laughs> I don't like this hairstyle either. My roots need touching up, and this really shows my really bad roots. <laughs> but um, the, the Civil War hairstyle, very, very simple, kind of severe, parted down the middle, no bangs or fringe. In Britain, they call bangs fringe. So I, you know, basically stuck my bangs to my head, pulled it all back in a bun in the back, and I just put a little bun cover on it. And I think that's pretty much, you know, with my length of hair, all that I could do with it. Um, so it's very, very simple hairstyle. Um, the frills were the bonnets. And um, I didn't, I could have put lace and more frills on the bonnet, but I thought with the velvet and the ribbon trim, I thought that was enough. And I'm not really a very frilly girl. I don't know if you've noticed that. I mean, I love pretty things. I'm really girly, but I'm not real frilly. 
So uh, I'm not really into a lot of lace and ruffles and that kind of stuff. Uh, most of what I like is, is very fitted and tailored. I like colors, but for me, um, the best dress is one that fits really well. So anyway. Um, so hey, Gina, hey, Ann, hey, Sarah, hey, Jennifer, that's all I can see. Is anybody else out there? I don't see any comments at all. So I don't know what's going on here. Let me put my comments. I hate to think nobody's there. You know what? I'm not seeing anyone at all, so I don't know what's going on. Usually, usually I have some people out there, um, but I'm not, if you're there, I'm not seeing you. So what I think I might do is go ahead and finish this video and go live again and see if that works. So if you are out there watching, hang on tight. I'm gonna um, end this one and start over and see if I can see you.